Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try to keep this intro brief for once in my life and hop into the tutorial. In my August favorites video, I told you guys that I've really been digging the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches. And as you guys know, I have been binge watching American Horror Story season three, which is Coven. So naturally, I wanted to do a look revolved around this black lip situation that we got going on. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I quite like black lipstick. I know that it can be a little dramatic for some, but I think it's a fun way to kind of step out of your comfort zone. And it's so universal. It looks totally different on every skin tone and it's very suitable for every skin tone as well. The only downside to liquid lipstick in my opinion is when it dries, it kind of forms this solid line around the inside of your mouth. So throughout the day, you'll have to go back in and fill in those edges, but I feel like Kat Von D's formula is pretty good, and if you do have to reapply it, it doesn't look cakey or built up at all, and it doesn't flake off, which is a definite positive in my books, because some liquid lipsticks do that. Whenever I wear a black lip and I'm going out in public during the day, I just love rocking these sunglasses. I totally feel like I belong in Coven. What do you guys think? <laughs> I know, right? Speaking of American Horror Story, I am gonna go finish watching season three now. All of the products that I use will be listed in the description box below, as per usual, along with all my social media platforms. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and let's do this. As usual, I'm starting out by priming my eyes with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. By the way, remember that cold that I was trying to fight off about a week ago? It got me real good, so I'm kind of sounding like Fran Drescher right now. Today I'm using the Morphe 35W palette. I'm starting out by applying this cream matte shade to my brow bone and I'm using a MAC 242 brush. Next I'm taking this light brown shade and I'm blowing out my crease with an Artster brush. These eyeshadows by the way are super creamy and pigmented, so it doesn't take very much for you to get this effect, a little bit goes a long way. With that same MAC 242 brush, I'm taking this sort of of light brown rose gold shade and I'm packing it all over my lid below my crease. As you can tell I'm having a little bit of a hard time describing each shade because they're not named but you feel me. Some of the shadows are matte, some of them are satin, some of them are luster and metallic. I'd say this one is a satin. With the Morphe M431 brush, I'm taking some of the shimmery bronze color and I'm concentrating it just in the outer edge of my eyes. As you can see, I'm kind of tilting my brush upwards and pointing not only the tip of it, but the entire body of it into the outer crease and sort of dragging it to the edge, if that makes sense. Super hard to explain, but just follow along. I also mentioned this brush in my August favorites video. It's like a way better version of the MAC pencil brush. The only downside of these shadows is that there's a little bit of fallout, so I sweep it away every once in a while, but I can deal with that. With that same brush, I'm taking a tiny bit of this matte black shade, dusting off the excess, and then working it over top of that shimmery brown in the outer edge. I'm doing this with the lightest touch. I'm just doing really, really light tapping motions, and then I'm gonna go back in with my Artster brush and sort of just blend it out. Now I'm touching up my brow bone with that cream shade again and I'm taking a bit of this light gold shimmery shade and I'm packing it in the center of my eyelid with that same MAC 242 brush and I'm just sort of blending it from the center of my eye to the outer edge so that there's a seamless transition between the two shades. By the way, in case you're wondering, I am cleaning this brush between each shade. Now I'm doing a sharp, longer than usual winged eyeliner and I'm using the 2-in-1 Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pen in Ultra Black. And once the wing is in place and I'm happy with it, I'm going in with a bit more of that black eyeshadow and I'm further defining the outer edge crease area. 
Then I'm taking the same shades that are on my eyelid and I'm using them to smoke out my bottom lash line and running some of the MAC Studio Promographic Pencil along my waterline. This is kind of like a flesh tone, but it's a little bit more yellow rather than pink. Today I'll be using individual eyelashes and this is a method that I used to use a lot and that I absolutely loved when I first started my YouTube channel. And it's something that I enjoy using on brides as well as mothers of the bride quite often. Fun fact. To prep my eyelashes, I'm using my Rimmel mascara and then one by one, I'm applying individual eyelashes to the outer edge of my eyes. So I'm doing medium length on the outer corner and I'm doing shorter ones near the center of the lid. I have a how-to video dedicated to this process from a really long time ago, which I can link in the description box below. And as a little side note, I prefer to use duo lash glue for individual lashes as opposed to other lash glue because I find that I can easily peel it off the lashes and reuse them without any damage to the eyelash. Once I have my lashes where I want them, I'm applying another coat of Rimmel mascara, adhering my natural lashes to my falsies and then I'm covering up glue that has not yet dried with a little bit more eyeliner. To brighten my under eye area some more where I had fallout, I'm using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And then to bronze up my skin, I'm using MAC Give Me Sun with a Real Techniques brush. To contour, I'm using the sample I got from Sephora. I believe this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. Thought I would give it a whirl and I was pleasantly surprised. I'm contouring my cheekbones using the NARS Eda brush by the way. To clean up below the contour, I'm using a bit of my L'Oreal Mineral Match Powder and my Beauty Blender. This is just going to make that area pop a little bit more. You guys have seen me do this in previous videos. And then for my blush, I'm throwing on a bit of MAC blush in Prism to my cheekbones and to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, now onto one of my favorite parts. I'm highlighting my cheekbones with this MAC Electric Cool Eyeshadow. Yes, eyeshadow in the shade Iced. This formulation is very spongy and bouncy and highly pigmented. I like using it as a highlight because, oh my god, just look at it. But I like to apply it with my fingertips because it's the best applicator for this formula in my opinion. It's very reminiscent of the ColourPop eyeshadows. And this particular shade is suitable for all skin tones in my opinion. So if you're fair, you're going to be able to make this work. And if you're deeper skin toned, you're definitely going to be able to make this work. Now I'm going to bathe myself in MAC Fix Plus and move on to my black lips using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches. First, I'm lining my lips using a lip brush and then I'm filling in the lips using the wand that it comes with. I'm gonna be honest, I overlined the fuck out of my lips and the reason being is because I can and because it's very hard to detect with black lip color in my opinion. And that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Not only do I think this look is super simple and easy to achieve, I also think it's quite universal. Regardless of your skin tone, you'll definitely be able to pull this off. And I know that the black lips seem a little bit out there, but it could actually be a lot of fun. As usual, all of the products that I used will be listed in the description box below, along with all of my social media platforms. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!